Hi, I'm Natalie, and my six and a half inch block is almost done. This is the back side. Two symmetrical parts on the brown paper and on the white paper. This is close look. This paper is totally removable. You can peel it off. You can peel every single piece. You need to peel every piece, save them, and you can use them again, all these pieces. Does it look pretty? The only thing I would suggest you to do when you put these two triangular together before you're stitching, put your pin right here. This way it needs to be precise, matching. So start pinning from this point and then go to this side and this side. When you unfold an iron, you just trim the sides and it's almost done. The only thing you need to do to complete the leaf to make this little stem. I sent you a little template for the stem. You can fuse any fusible interfacing or web, fuse it here and stitch with any like blanket stitch or straight stitch or even zigzag stitch. So you can attach it. But the simple way is look, I just did straight stitch with a little turn. When you put your needle down, turn a little bit, continue stitching, turn, continue, turn with needle down. Just make brown color thread stitches and then you can use brown color fabric marker and just you know draw these lines and make it brown color. So this is how I made this block and uh, I would say it was pretty good. Every stitch I mean, every piece stitched together, very precise. Every stitch close to the paper, good. But to me, it's a little bit more time consuming than it could be. If you want to show me, no, if you want me to show you what's the other way. So here it is. You don't even need pins anymore using this method. You don't even need pins. It's even easier. So here is your template, which has, if you remember, this perforation with little dots. You can bend your fabric across these lines. Or if you have a you know pen, you can just stitch lines if you like those lines more. But I like this perforation. It's very easy to use these little holes for bending it. See? I have three pieces in one. Now guess how they will be stitched here. Very easy. Here's my ironing board. I'm going to start with stitching together this and this piece. So I need to iron right now one of these, one of each, this or this, doesn't matter. I need to uh, iron piece of fabric which doesn't have to be precise, doesn't have to be pre-cut. That's what I like about this, I, about this method, I don't have to waste time for pre-cutting. I just take a piece of paper or fabric, put it face down and put my template on it, on the top. I'm using my iron and I'm ironing only one of these two pieces. Now I fold. And I'm cutting quarter inch seam allowance right here. And then I fold 
the second band and cut off the fabric from this side. So I did not pre-cut anything before, I just ironed it to the whole piece of fabric and cut off the first piece, 1A. Now what I'm doing, here is 1B. Now it's going to be another piece of fabric, stitch it to this part. I fold this template, which color? Oh, I'm so sorry. This was supposed to be green color. I'm sorry, but it's easy to redo. Look at this. I'll put it back here. I'm ironing it here. I fold it back by perforation and the cutting off. You can use a quarter inch seam allowance ruler, as I already told you. You can put it here to the fold and use your roller cutter and cut. Or you can use just scissors and cut it as I did. So this was the green color. And now I need to add the red color. I'm so sorry for that mistake. That was stupid. So I'm taking any of these orange colors, put it face up because these now need to be face to face. Put it right here. And I just match the edge of fabric. I don't even need pins. I just need to stitch on the edge of this paper. Look at this. I'm just matching edges. And stitching again very close to the paper. I'm stitching just on the edge of this paper. Now I'm unfolding paper and ironing again. See, two pieces very close. There is there is no even any gap between because they are not even cut to pieces. They stay in one place. This stitching even more precise than if I would be stitching piece to piece as in previous leaf. Now I'm cutting off quarter inch, unfold and cutting off the rest of fabric which I don't need anymore and at the same time I'm doing trimming here two pieces done and here is another third piece 1C I fold it up which color is this? supposed to be red I put this front fabric to the front part of this fabric to the top I put it to the very edge I'm joining the edges and I'm stitching close to the fold of the paper just close to the fold I did not pre-cut any piece. I did not spend any time for pre-cutting or pre-ironing, which is pretty cool. I, I just love this method. So, unfold the fabric and unfold the paper, look. The fabric was here and paper was here. Now I'm dropping the fabric, 
unfold the paper and all my three pieces in one. I put it flat, unfold my freezer paper, iron it to the fabric, to the whole piece of fabric, I did not pre-cut. And again, using my scissors, I just cut off the rest of the fabric. So actually I'm working with the pieces of fabrics which I did not pre-cut and I can use any scraps, any smaller pieces, if it fits, I can use smaller pieces. So look at this, the part of my leaf is ready and I did not be, I didn't have to be worried about the gaps between or not precise, not together, they all follow the pattern, the template. This is how you can use the whole template, I call it multiple block because it has several little blocks or segments, whatever, several parts in one and you did not have to cut them to pieces like we did in previous step. So I think this, is, this method is much better, easier and uh, again when you peel it off you can save it and you can use it again not the same as paper piecing when you tear away all the fabric and use new template again and again but this template can be used multiple times so i hope you can make maybe one leaf for me and i hope you will love this method and will make much more for yourself. Make more quilts. Happy sewing, Natalie. Thank you.